Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the next three months. This is going to be your quarter two reading, and it's going to be for uh, April through June of 2021. Uh, we're going to jump right in here. We're going to take a look at your general energies with this first row. Uh, in your second row, we're going to look at any messages from your future self. In your next row, we're going to look at any unexpected good news that could be coming in for you. And in your last row here, we're going to look at anything, <clears throat> excuse me, any advice from your guides or your ancestors. Uh, also, at the end, I am going to pull three extra cards uh, and I will give you a quick yes or no answer with each one of those cards. But I'm also going to give you a short message on each one of those cards as if I know uh, what question you are asking. So feel free to come up with questions and it's going to be kind of like a personal reading almost, but uh, we'll see how it works. Definitely let me know what you think. But Libra, uh, let's see what we have going on for you here, Libra. And let's see here. Uh, Libra. You start off with this Wonders card. So uh, this card says there's like basically more below the surface. I always say it's like kind of like the tip of the iceberg that you're seeing here with this energy. And you have the Stillness card as well. I'm getting like calm before the storm <laughs> is popping into my head. So this could be a good thing. Um, I do feel like it is kind of a good thing. It's like things are about to speed up very rapidly for you here, but I do feel like things are kind of in this very calm state or will be kind of like at the beginning of the three months, even you know from March going into April, I feel like kind of the last two weeks of March going into April, you know, it could be like maybe a little calmer, a little slower, things like that. But it's kind of like the calm before the storm. You have the uh, Fool the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So I feel for some of you, I, I, like I, get, I get this feeling of being stuck to the past here. Somebody's stuck. It's either you or a person here. For a lot of you, it's like you're hoping for a love offer from a person, but I feel like there's something better coming in for you. You know, straight to the Seven of Swords. It's like your guides want you to know that someone from the past could be toxic. But some of you could be thinking about the past here. I feel like what you don't know is that there's something much better coming in for you here with this energy. You know, two swords can be being stuck to something that you know, you know, being stuck to a comfort zone, basically. Five of Pentacles says, you know, do not call attention to your weaknesses, but it is you feeling a little left out in the cold. So I do feel for some of you, somebody uh, hurt you here. I am getting a specific story. I do feel like for some of you, someone chose like their ex over you or something like that. And you could be having a hard time with that. But let's clear. I need to clarify this. So uh, let's clarify this and see what we get for you here. Libra, Queen of Pentacles, new path. Uh, to me, you're at a crossroads here, Libra, Eight of Swords. I would definitely set yourself free. And the Empress, you're empowering. You need to empower yourself here with this energy. Definitely a lot of abundance coming in for you, but it's like, you know, she's sitting here and she's not making a decision to move on to these new lands that are behind her. If if you were to ask what is behind her, about everything, <laughs> everything that she wants is behind her. And actually, technically, that's not behind her. She is facing the front of the card here on the Two of Swords. She's just facing where she has always been. She's facing her comfort zone. Behind her is actually in front of her. Behind her would be moving on to something she's never experienced. This right here. So total abundance, total success coming in for you. The Queen of Pentacles to me is a clue card. Um, there are certain cards. I read tarot differently than most people. Queen of Pentacles, um, I have certain cards I call clue cards. They show up. Um, sometimes I get this like intuitive hit where I feel like they're representing their clue meaning. The clue meaning to me for the Queen of Pentacles is being at a crossroads having a choice to make. But the Queen of Pentacles literally says that the new path will be very abundant. There's a rabbit right here. And not only that, that taking a leap of faith on towards something new here, Libra, is going to lead to kind of rapid changes as well because the rabbits represent like fleetness. They represent things changing quickly. So I feel like once you uh, set yourself free from something that you feel stuck and bound to, I feel like things are going to change very, very quickly for you here. And things are going to improve very quickly um, as well. I just want to um, get a little bit more detail on this row because I feel like there's more that wants to come out. You have the King of Pentacles, boom. You're taking a leap of faith towards your divine counterpart here is what I'd say to you. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. It's a permanent relationship coming in for you, but it is going to be a new relationship, I feel. Uh, uh, strength, Leo. So for some of you, it could be a Leo. Uh, I do feel like you need to be strong at this time. 
Eight of Swords, you know, is a card of like shallow emotion. She's she is standing in ver a very shallow pool of water. So I, but at the same time, I do feel like you setting yourself free from some prison, some emotional prison, it could require a lot of strength. And with the Empress, you have the Magician. Yeah, you're attracting something much better into your life here, Libra. So I feel like you're attracting a lot of like abundant success, happiness, and, and definitely a new beginning. The Magician is pointing towards the Ten of Swords here. Ten of Swords is a difficult ending, but you know, um, it's the end. I always say, like people always tell me like how bad the Ten of Swords is. I'm like, yeah, okay, it's like a bad card, but you know, it's the end. <laughs> There's nothing after it. <laughs> There's only a new beginning after it. And we'll, we're gonna talk about this in a second, but it also represents luck. Uh, in your next row here, for um, from messages from yourself, your future self, you have the a change in the wind card. Again, this is a card where I got like a calm before the storm was popping into my head. So I feel like things are about to speed up for you very, very quickly. Yeah, I feel like you need to be present. I feel like your higher self wants you to be present, enjoy the present moment uh, that you're in right now. Because again, I feel like in the near future, things are going to be speeding up very quickly. It's almost like your higher self is saying, and, and this is a good thing as well, Libra. I don't want to scare you. I feel like this is very positive like what you're moving towards, but I feel like your higher self wants you to realize like, you know, rest now, relax now, recover your energy now, because things are going to be speeding up for you very quickly here in the near future. You have the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords represents the end. Again, he's making a symbol with his hands here. It actually represents luck. So I feel there are going to be new opportunities coming in for you here, but it's going to be in something new. Definitely needing to end something here that is maybe difficult for you to end, but you have the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I feel like there's a love offer coming in for you from like your divine counterpart, someone who wants something permanent. And uh, Ace of Cups is a proposal. Look, you have marriage right here. Some of you could be getting proposed to or married uh, over these next three months. Obviously, if this is new love, then it's just someone who wants to marry you in the future. I feel like your future self wants you to know to take a step. Ace of Cups is like the universe, you're getting the cup. The universe is giving you this cup. The bird doesn't fall into the cup until you take the first step. So whatever it is that you're trying to manifest or create in your life, I feel like the universe wants you to get started here on something like a project, a business, uh, so, you know, anything that you're working on here because that will cause your cups to overflow. I feel like you can take care of yourself as well with the uh, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is kind of like a card of nurturing yourself, caring for yourself, all those other things. Um, but let's clarify this here, Libra, and let's see what we have going on for you, Libra. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Your destiny is changing. This is like fate. I feel like there's like a faded connection coming in for you. The Fool, you're going to have to take a leap of faith, like I already said. Like you're going to have to get started here. Um, you know, I was saying that the universe is like pushing you to take action, I feel. A lot of luck coming in for you. You do have the Three of Swords. Again, I do feel like you're holding on to this for some of you here with the, um, you know, the Ten of Swords. I do feel like this is difficult. Uh, you know, I feel like this is a difficult thing uh, for you to let go of. But I feel like you can't even imagine what's coming in for you here. So I feel like you need to realize that. That's something, you know, it much better is coming in for you. I had to clarify twice with this. To me, when I have to do that, when I have to do that, to me, it tells me that you don't even see that something really amazing is coming in for you here. It doesn't even have to just be love. We could be talking about, you know, this could be a business, a job. Um, I'd say, especially if you've had a lot of disappointments in work or business, this is something much better coming in for you here. And, you know, something very abundant as well with the Empress. Uh, for others, again, I feel like you need to let go of the sadness. Three Swords is like temporary as well. It does remind you that if you're dealing with someone from the past, that the sadness that you'll be experiencing is not going to last forever. I think the challenge with breakups in the first place is that you feel like it's going to last forever. It's not. So I feel like you need to realize that with the Three of Swords here. I would definitely heal. I feel like your future self wants you to heal yourself as well in this with this energy here, a lot of healing energy. I also feel like the um, your future self wants you to take control of your destiny. The Wheel of Fortune is always the wheel is always spinning we control the direction of the wheel with our vibrations so i feel like your future self wants you to keep it positive uh, next for anything unexpected any unexpected good news that could be coming in for you you have the marriage card some of you could be getting proposed to ace of cups here so if you're in a positive relationship uh, you could be getting proposed to if you're not i feel that this could be someone who wants to marry you coming in for you. So definitely love coming in. Uh, for others, even if you don't want love, I do feel that there could be an agreement because of this nine of pentacles. Marriage can just be a contract. So I do feel for some of you, 
it's like you're attracting like a contract like in work or business, something that's going to be very profitable. Again, tons of abundance in this reading. So I feel like there's a lot of abundance coming in for you as well, Libra. But this looks good. You have the Seven of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. You are manif like I feel like you're manifesting something here. And you probably didn't expect to be able to manifest something so quickly. And so really, I feel like you're kind of surprising yourself here in this row. Seven of Cups says you're spoiled for choice. You know, and it says you could be thinking about a lot of options. But again, this row is meant to be unexpected good news or, you know, anything unexpected that's positive coming in for you. So I feel like you're kind of like having a lot of options. And the Four of Cups to me would say you're manifesting things very quickly. Um, the Four of Cups, I'm not a big fan of the Four of Cups. But again, this row is meant to be positive. So I do feel like saying the grass is greener on the other side. This new beginning that you're manifesting right here. Uh, we'll talk about this diagonal in a minute once we clarify through. Um, this new beginning that you're manifesting is going to be very positive. The grass is greener on the other side. I also feel like you're getting right with yourself here, and I, but I really feel there's like a lot of abundance coming in for you with this Nine of Pentacles. That's really all I'm getting. So let's clarify this here, Libra, and let's see what else we can get off of these cards. Eight of Pentacles, a lot of abundance coming in for you. For some of you, I feel like this is money that's coming in. Ace of Pentacles, there you go, money, <laughs> clearly. And the Seven of Pentacles, are you kidding me, Libra? Uh, definitely, this could be a contract coming in for you. Uh, for some of you, I feel this is like a work contract. So if you've been looking for a job for a long time, this has been coming up for you every night that there could be a job coming in for you. For others, there's something that's worth it coming in for you, like the second sign that has had this message of something like really being worth your time. And, and I probably because, you know, over the past like several years, things have not been worth it or we've been forced into situations that aren't worth it. Like maybe you've had to have a job that isn't worth it, but you needed a job, so you had to take it, right? So I feel for a lot of you, it's like this message here, the unexpected thing that's coming in for you is something that's worth your time. And whether it's love, money, business, doesn't matter. And I feel there's something much better coming in for you. For others, I feel like there's like a letter coming in for you or something. I'm getting something about news or a letter. It could be for like an inheritance, although you don't really have any inheritance cards. I do feel like it's in regards to money and it's going to be beneficial, but I'm getting something about a letter coming in. You're going to have to do something for it. Eight of Pentacles here. So it's like maybe you're going to have to fill out paperwork or something like that. Again, this is not a scam or anything like that. You know, so, you know, be careful of scams and all that other stuff. But I feel like this is legitimate. You know, this is something uh, legitimate, something that you would know about. But I feel like there could be a letter coming in, and it's going to be a very um, positive news for you here as well. For others, I literally feel like you could be finding money um, here, and that could be unexpected as well. You could be finding something like in your attic or, you know, I just get like something hidden that you're finding here. It's not really hidden, but I'm just saying like, you know, you're like cleaning out a closet or something like that, and, and you like find something that's valuable, and I feel like you sell it, and it, that could be very beneficial here. So uh, I'm definitely, I'm getting a lot here. So I feel like there are a lot of like unexpected things for you over the next three months coming in. For others, definitely a job. Like I said, Ace of Pentacles, definitely an offer. I, like I don't really feel like it's unexpected. I feel like it's more of a surprise because I just feel like you've been waiting so long for something that makes sense is what's popping into my head. It's like you've been just waiting for a job that like actually has to do with what you want to work on or you know, you're waiting, you've been waiting for a job that actually, you know, has to do with your degree or whatever. And it's like, it's finally coming in here. Uh, so that's that. Uh, in your last row here, for many advice from your guides, you have the tender embrace card. I do feel like it's just, I literally feel like this is talking about touching people. I feel like this is saying that like make, you know, if you have important people in your life, make sure um, you don't have to physically touch them, but reach out and touch them. I feel like this is saying your guides want you to maintain your relationships here. And we're not talking about love. We're talking about all relationships in your life. I feel like your guides are talking about the importance of like letting people know that you care about them and you know, all that other stuff here, Libra. I just feel like you could be very busy, especially with this right here. In the two pentacle cards here, you could be working really hard towards abundance, Empress. So it's gonna be important for you to maintain your relationships. You have these seven of swords, two of pentacles, and the devil. I do feel like for some of you, your guides are trying to guide you away from a toxic situation. So if this first row, if it's something toxic that you've been dealing with, I feel like your guides are trying to guide you away from that. For others, I feel like this is just saying balance. Two of pentacles is a card of hard work. And it's a card that says you need to have more fun. So I feel like, you know, Seven of Swords, Devil, this is basically working too much, the Devil. So I feel for some of you, you know, it could be like being addicted to work with the Devil energy. So I feel like your guides want you to make sure to take time for yourself, make sure to have fun, make sure to heal, relax, recover, all that other stuff. I do feel like your guides want you to be careful 
of anything that doesn't that seems too good to be true with the seven of swords i do feel like it, the seven of swords i feel like it's very obvious energy is what i feel like saying because i like I'm, the message that's popping into my head here is if it walks like a duck if it quacks like a duck it's a duck right so i feel for some of you there could be like situations in your life with the seven of swords where it's like you're not sure here I, like i feel like you need to judge things based off of actions not words or you know anything else and i do feel like your guides want you to pay attention to that with the seven of swords there but uh, let's clarify through and see what else your guides have to say ten of swords twice yep ten of swords coming up like crazy in these readings pretty weird but i do feel like you need to let go of some sort of liar cheater stealer you have the uh higher friend the the universe has your back i feel like the universe your guides are guiding you towards something much better as far as love is concerned and then you have the ten of cups fortune after difficulty i feel like your guides want you to know that letting go of something they are going to you are going to be filling in the gap here libra is what this reading is saying. You know, this whole entire reading, it, it just it just clicked with me. This whole entire reading is literally saying, don't be afraid to release anything, love, business, money, whatever, because I feel like the universe, your guides are going to be filling in the gap very, very quickly. And you know, this is one of those readings where I feel like the main gist of the reading here is that you're making space. You're making space for things that are significantly better than what you have ex been experiencing for a long time in love, money, business, spirituality, health, pretty much everything. So I really feel this is one of those readings that's saying like your guides are saying hey we have your back we are not going to leave you hanging and i feel like that's what your guides the universe are saying so don't be afraid to um, release things that no longer serve you especially with the two tens the ten of swords twice you know like i said ten of swords is a card of victimhood but you know really it's a card of being stabbed in the back it's a card of overkill it doesn't take ten swords to kill someone is what the ten of swords says but you know really i feel like it's saying that it's, a, it, it's like time to evolve. It's time to move forward with the Wheel of Fortune. So, um, you know, I would say don't be afraid to let go of things that you have been dealing with or don't be afraid to let go of things that are like outdated, you know, in a lot of ways. Definitely could be a divine counterpart coming in for you as well, by the way. I, th I think that's also an important part of this reading is the King and Queen of Pentacles. Doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to either, um, but love it. Uh, we're going to answer three questions now. We have one, two, and three. Feel free to pause the video if you want to uh, if you want to think of any questions. I'm going to give you a quick yes or no, like I said, and I'm going to answer the question as if I know what your question is, even though I don't. <laughs> so we're going to see what happens. So for question number one, we have a no, definitely no. Tower, definitely time to release whatever this is. We built the tower. I feel like you could be having a hard time letting go of something with the tower, whatever your question is, because we build the tower. We are attached to the tower because we build the tower, right? We, we built this brick by brick. So I feel like some of you need to let go of whatever this is and realize that you're just going to build something new, much better, stronger. It's like you have learned. Sometimes I think we, you know, especially in a reading like this where it's like the Ten of Swords comes up twice. It's like we could be, um, you have invested a lot of time, effort, and energy into something so we kind of have the sunk cost fallacy where we invested a lot into something and that's really why we're afraid to let go. Um, and, but what we need to realize is that we learned a lot. So if we rebuild the tower, we're re rebuilding it 10, 10, 20 times stronger. We're not rebuilding it weaker. And I feel like you need to realize that. Uh, for card number two, yep, yes, definitely, yes on card number two. Uh, I feel for some of you, could be someone coming back from the past, I feel. For others, I feel like you're just uh, pushing forward on some sort of like project or business. I almost feel like there's like treasure coming in for you. I kind of said that here in your reading, but whatever you're asking about, I feel like it is treasure and it is very valuable. So, but yes, definitely. For card number three, I would say yes, uh, uh, meta wands here. So I, I would say yes. I also feel like you need to go on the adventure here. For some of you, I'm getting something about building or building something new. So I feel like there will be success in that for you. Uh, for others, I feel like you need to be more spontaneous. I feel like saying yes to your question, but I feel like you need to be op more open to different ways of doing things because I think what you're thinking about, it's not going to work out how you think is what's popping into my head. Nine of Wands, he sets off on a journey. He's He like has a goal. He has something he wants to achieve, but he's kind of like more open to the journey. He's more open to the adventure. He doesn't really care how he gets there. I do feel like for um, those of you, uh, you know, whatever your question was for number three, I feel like you just need to be more you know, open to getting to your goal in a different way, if that makes sense. But uh, that's what I have for you. So love it, Libra. Looks pretty good. So thank you for being here, Libra. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising again for a full picture of what's going on for you right now. Also, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate all the support. But thank you, Libra, and definitely enjoy the next three months.